to our channel. Today I'm going to share with you a family favorite recipe that is perfect for the fall and winter season. This has been a family favorite recipe since my girls were little, so like 20 years. I really don't have a name for this recipe. It was something that I found in a magazine 20 years ago and actually just tweaked it so much that it's become basically my own recipe. So I'm gonna share with you what all goes into this and then we're gonna make it together. So hopefully, if you guys have these things on hand, you can make it with me. So we're gonna start off with, you need some lean ground beef. That's always what I choose. I like the leanest. I got at least three pounds because when I make this, I want to make enough that I can freeze and pull out on a chilly day because again, like I said, this is the perfect meal on a chilly day. Uh, I love it served with some crusty Italian breads and, and maybe a glass of wine or some apple cider. Okay, so three pounds of ground meat. Also, you're going to need two cans. I've got two here of either crushed tomatoes, tomato puree, whatever you have. Even if you have some jarred sauce, whatever you got in your pantry would be fine with this recipe. All right, next is some cans of green beans. I got two here. And then two cans of corn. This is such an easy dump and go recipe. We're gonna do all this in one pot. Okay, and then also I'm gonna chop up some little carrots here. And I'm gonna add some zucchini. Now, again, you guys can add whatever vegetables you and your family like. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to use what I showed you here. Whatever you've got, whatever your family likes, go ahead and dump this in this recipe. Okay, so we're also gonna add some shells pasta, which I love, the little medium shells. We're gonna season this up with a little bit of pepper, some salt. I'm gonna throw in a little Italian seasonings and a little bit of garlic and onion powders but also beef broth is huge i love beef broth this is the one that i get it's normally uh, or i'll show you what it looks like i don't i didn't open this one yet but i know there's going to be a um a little thing on top of here let me pull this off okay so you can see it's like solid and you can scoop it out because i love the flavor of the beef broth in this now, if you're feeling a little bit more, like want to add a little bit more flavor, you can put a little splash of red wine in it as well, because you know that will cook down. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and chop the carrots. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add, uh, oh, a little onion. I forgot, I need to add some onion and I add some fresh garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and brown the ground meat, add some chopped up garlic and some chopped up onion, and we're gonna brown that until there's no pink left in the meat. Now, it's your option if you wanna drain it or not, when I get such lean ground meat, sometimes I don't have to drain it, but if you feel like you want to drain it, go ahead and drain it, but put it back in the pot again. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, all put together. Uh, we're going to start browning the ground meat, onions, and garlic, and this house is going to smell so good. So, you know, if you're watching, make you maybe pour a glass of wine, glass of apple cider, whatever it is you love, and uh, sit back with me and uh, join me here in the kitchen. All right, so I put a little extra virgin olive oil here in the pot. Got that heated up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add my ground beef. Mm, I love to hear it sizzle. Go wash my hands. We're gonna let this brown up a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and season this with some onion powder and some garlic powder, a little salt and pepper. All right, as you can see, this is browning up, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the chopped up onion and garlic to the meat. Okay, this is for the fun part, and this is where we just dump everything in this pot here. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
start dumping in each can of the crushed tomatoes. And again, whatever you guys happen to have in your pantry will work fine. If it gets too thick, you can always add a little bit of water, which I will be doing. So let's go ahead and get that all mixed in here. Okay. So we've got the sauce. And now the easy part as well is just adding the cans of veggies, juice and all. So just dumping it all in. If you guys choose, you can get the low sodium. I know some people like to watch their sodium, which is a good thing. You can do that, whatever works for you. This is one thing great about this recipe, it's what works best for you, what your family likes best. So I've got all that in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get these carrots, because they're gonna take a while to soften. Oh, I'm gonna get all of that. Oops, and I got some sauce on my shirt. I should have put an apron on. I'm gonna switch hands here. I know right now you're thinking, uh, I'm not sure if that looks too good, but trust me, it's gonna be so delicious. All right, I'm gonna let this, all the seasonings work in here together for a little bit. But what I'm gonna do though first is I forgot to share with you earlier, I love crushed red pepper. We love a little hotness to this, not too hot, but just a little bit of a bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some, actually I'm gonna add some to my hand. First, I like to just go like that, break it down a little bit, and then there we go. Got that in here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my beef. So you can see that. I'm gonna add, I think, maybe two tablespoons of the beef seasoning. This is gonna give it such a delicious flavor Stir that in a little bit. I'm gonna also add my Italian seasonings. A little bit of that in there. This is a full one, so a little hard to get out. Well, I'll stir this around and I'll add a little bit more. So I'm gonna let these seasons cook through a little bit. I will add the zucchini, but not for a little while because that will you know, that will soften very quickly. So let's let these, get all the seasonings get together and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, so now our one pot meal is cooking. All the seasonings are coming together. So I'll let that cook for a while. And again, I'm gonna add the zucchini and then I'm gonna add the pasta. But you wanna keep taste testing it just to make sure the seasonings are all blending well together. If you need to add a little bit more, this is the time you wanna go ahead and do that. But in the meantime, I wanted to share with you also what we're gonna have with dinner. And I picked up one of these from our local grocery store, Giant Eagle. And these are one of these, um, this, this is actually not an Italian bread, but I do love French baguette. And uh, this is the French Demi baguettes. And these are the Bacon and Joy. You basically just put these in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. This is the one we're gonna use here. And it comes out so hot, crispy. I love the crispy crust. It's perfect with a one pot meal like this. Okay, of course you guys know how much we love our red wine. So this is the one we're gonna use tonight, we're gonna drink tonight, and this is an Australian wine. This is a Shiraz Cab. I really love this one, and it's inexpensive, and it tastes perfect with this one pot meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and it's a twist off, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit into my wine glass, just a sample, of course while this one pot meal is cooking. So, absolutely delicious. All right, the next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grate some fresh Pecorino Romano cheese. I'm one of those people that I love to put that on my wedding soup, on my pasta, and I love it on this dish. Now again, that is optional. So if you guys are not fans of it, then you can go ahead and eliminate this part, but I love it on this dish because it just enhances the flavor. Me personally, it's my personal opinion. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish seasoning up this one pot meal just a little bit more. I'm gonna add the zucchini, let that, that cook for a few minutes, 
and then we're going to go ahead and add the pasta. Now when I do add the pasta, you're going to notice I'm going to add some more water because we want to give it a little more liquid because it's getting a little bit thicker. I want to add a little bit more liquid so our pasta can cook thoroughly. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and do the next step. So you can see this is boiling. All the seasonings are definitely coming together because it smells so good in here. I'm going to go ahead and add now my zucchini. I didn't add a lot, just a little bit for some flavor. Again, it's totally up to you what you want to add to this one pot meal. I'm going to let that cook in here for a few more minutes. And then as you can see, this is nice and thick. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more water. Now, when you do add water, you want to make sure that you test it after a few minutes because then you may have to adjust some of the seasonings. And then after we add water, I already have it here, so I've got it ready to go. Again, I'll adjust the seasoning, then I'll go ahead and add the pasta. Then I'll let this cook until the pasta is completely cooked through. So that may take about 20 minutes or so, um, only because this is not just boiling water, so it's gonna take a little bit more time. Now, you may choose to wanna cook your pasta separately and just throw that in when you, eat, when you eat this or when you heat it up. I love to put it all together. Again, that's why it's called, for me, a one-pot meal. So I'm gonna go ahead, let this cook for a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and add our pasta soon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add, I already added some water, I'm gonna add a little bit more water, and probably about a half a box of this pasta. So, go ahead, you can, because this pasta is going to get bigger, obviously, and soak up a lot of the juices. So go ahead and stir that in. Let's see. I love pasta, I really do. So that was about half a box, I might go for a few more. All right, make sure that's in there really good. I always like to make sure the pasta is covered by all this deliciousness here. All right, we're gonna let this cook until the pasta is done. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the yummy Italian bread in the oven and uh, get the table set. Just another tip. Be sure to continually stir your one pot meal because you want to make sure the pasta does not stick to the bottom of the pot and it just makes it, you know, be able to, um, the pasta cook evenly. So you want to make sure you do that. And I also wanted to share with you one little trick because I did tell you guys how much I do love the Pecorino Romano cheese. My little secret tip is once you have it shredded, to put a little bit on top of it even just so it seasons nicely inside of here. Again, that is optional. It's totally up to you if you love this type of cheese, but I love the enhanced flavor that it gives to this meal. All right, as you can see, the pasta still has a little ways to go here. I'm gonna go ahead and let it finish cooking up. I'm gonna get the bread in the oven and finish getting everything set around the table, get our wine over at the table, and get ready to enjoy this delicious meal. Well, as you guys can see, the one pot dish, this delicious dish, is all done. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it in this really pretty, I've got this soup holder. This is really old, years and years. This is actually a Mario Batali uh, soup dish, which I love. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this up with this delicious one pot soup. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks and smells simply amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to tell me your comments. I hope you love it as much as our family does. And you can freeze this, and my suggestion is when you do freeze it, when you thaw it out, add a little bit more uh, liquid to it. If you have to, you might have to season it up with a little bit more beef broth after the fact if you add more water but that's what i do after i freeze it and thaw it out sometimes i need to add a little bit more uh, water to it and then i'll add a little bit more beef seasoning uh, just to make sure it doesn't lose any of its flavor so i'm going to get this off the burner i'm going to take this over to the table and we're going to go ahead and uh, dish out dinner alexa play some italian dinner music italian dinner music 
Italian restaurant music. Background music by Italian restaurant music of Italy. All right, we've got our Italian music playing. We've got this delicious one pot meal. We've got some vino, and we're all set to enjoy this delicious dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and I hope that you will share it with your friends and family. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like it, and I cannot wait to hear your comments below. So I say, salute, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.